know, YouTube friends, do you want to catch an alligator gar? Well, good, because I'm going to show you how to make a rope lure that'll help you catch alligator gar. I'll tell you some stuff that helped me and some stuff that didn't work for me. Uh, and I'm still trying new stuff. You know, I, I've just started at the first of the summer. I went on this quest at the beginning of the summer. I was going to catch me an alligator gar. And you know what? I end up catching some, and it is absolutely a blast. Uh, so anyway, uh, what I found out is, okay, because when I started doing, I wanted to catch one of these alligator gar, I started doing all this research, and I'm watching all these YouTube videos, and you know what? I found out that I haven't had any luck on live bait, uh, or, or just they just hadn't hadn't had luck. So. Uh, so I started making these rope lures. Uh, they don't have a hook in them. Uh, it's real hard to catch one with a hook. So what it is, is uh, I start making these rope lures that's made out of nylon rope. And what it is, is when you cast out, this nylon gets wrapped in, in their teeth. Because the alligator gar has two rows of real, real, real sharp teeth. And uh, so another thing is, when I'm out here in my kayak, and I'm out here, you know, trying to find alligator gar because I've found that you just about got to sight fish for them. Uh, all right, that's how I've been catching them anyway. And so when I see one, I'll cast in front of it uh, and hope and pray that he takes it. And sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. Um, but I also found that it, it's better to catch them when it's real warm outside. Uh, it's also better to catch them um during the evening uh after 12 i had had very little luck in the mornings don't know why and i tell you what i've been watching the alligator go and they seem to be fe uh, feeding more in the evening uh, i also found out that alligator gars like canary yellow and also you can use some smells like you can buy that spray it makes the lure smell you know like fish or shrimp or whatever uh, i believe believe they help because the last time I was out, I, I dipped my lure down in uh, bluegill blood and caught two right after, right after one right after another. So uh, just get out there and experiment, and let's go show you how to make right, a So here you go, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need barrel swivels, size 5, okay? You're going to need some 5 sixteenths rope, and I cut it about 6 inches, all right? And what you do is you start frizzing out the end of your rope okay and this is what you get when you frizzle it all out and I, actually this stuff is in the middle of the rope all right you just throw this thing away okay and this stuff you'll actually use you take this stuff right here this little bit of rope that's in the middle of it and this is what you tie it up with you just tie it right here okay if you can see it kind of doing this with one hand so but anyway this is your finished product so uh you'll see where you I tie it together and then i'll put some like uh really gars like canary yellow more than anything so i just happen to have some pink i'm out of canary yellow yarn right now so i'm gonna buy me some more of that but anyway after I tie it up i super glue around where i tied it and then i take a wire brush and start you know smoothing this a uh, coat of nylon out and this is so that's your finished product it's real simple there's no hooks um, and let me tell you how to how i put it on my pole all right so here's one i've caught a couple of gar with and what i do is i've got um, a bullet weight at the top so the bullet weight and then i have a metal lanyard all right and the metal lanyard hooks to my barrel swivel all right and that's it and that's uh what i use so it's just like i say it's real simple well i hope you enjoyed uh, the process how to make a gar lure so i hope you go out there and catch one so you get out there and fish